Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we're here in our ribbon world. Yay! And our ribbon world does not stretch far, but it does go wide. Um, looks like we're, we're doing pretty well. One thing that I was going to, I was just looking at the map before I started the game, and <laughs> this forest is just beautifully, beautifully uh, sucking up the pollution so it's not even reaching this small biter nest, which is not a big problem because we have those uh, turrets down there. Uh, but it's not even coming close to this bigger base. We'll see how it progresses because, of course, the oil area here is going to generate pollution, which is sucked up by the lake. Yay! Uh, but mostly we're looking at those uh, pump jacks, which are in this area. So last time we left off in connecting all the materials for science, particularly blue science, which is very tasty, nice, and very exciting. Uh, I'm going to continue that quest uh, with starting off of course with the um the fluids we need to get going on this thing so i'm just kind of going to do the best i can with squeezing these things in where i can that's it's going to be interesting but we'll we'll go around problems as we come to them in fact you know what i might i might just put them down here on this or actually this gap is pretty decent for this because there's stone down here. Don't want to mess with that. So, okay, we're just going to make an executive decision here. Oops. Come on, thing. Go. Okay. Uh, and get these items onto the lower part of this bus just to go. I know I'm sorry it'll drive some of you crazy, but this is a limited world. We don't have unlimited real estate, so it's kind of slightly almost necessary um, anyway, I hope you'll forgive me. I hope it's okay. And we might be able to change it later too, as we, um, you know, get robots and we can make things a little bit neater. Okay. That doesn't work real well right there. All right. There are not two, you know what? I, it's okay though. It's not a problem. I will sort it out. Okay. What do we got now? Let's get, um, anything that doesn't involve blue science. <laughs> All right, I'll fix this. All right, there we are. And this is perfect because I can just string that along. Oh, not, not that way, come on thing. And get this. I should put that on a hotkey that works better. I think, I think you can, can you shift? Let's see if I press one, what about shift one? No, nope, not that one. Fingers don't go all over. The, oh yes, I can, I can shift one. All right, this'll go here, which is perfection in, in itself here. Yay. And let's go into the wilderness, yay poor trees. They're just waiting for their time. You can tell, you know, they know they're going to go at some point. They're just like, yeah, we're going to stand here and sort of halfway die and it'll be all right. And yeah. Okay. Looks like we're going to have to step up again. Um, but it's okay. We'll just do these varying steps as we as we go and this will probably be removed at some point because these uh, the miners will not be here this ore patch will not be here so it's all kinds of good this goes there and oops not that way pardon me that is the wrong kind of way let's see I don't think that connects there oh yep yeah it does okay not good not good That cannot connect there, so there is going to have to be our best option. Okay, and can I... Does this connect? It does not connect, so let's just put this kind of in the middle. Gives a little bit more space to walk through. Okay, back on our road. And I drew the pipes from the other area, the oil area. So they are actually over here, which is a pretty decent location for them. Can I cross the water? That's the big question. 
Yes, sort of, but it's in the wrong spot. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this organized here. So this one, wow, it is just in a really, really bad spot. I'm going to just have to go through this area up here because I don't want to mess with this, to be honest. I really am not that thrilled about this uh, thing here. Go like this and, okay, insert a bonus. No, cannot. Aha, this can though. All right, cool. And, oh, oh no, I ran out of undergrounds. Oh dear. Let's go back and get some. The belt array is close at hand. Not a problem. What else do I need? I have belts. I probably could use some more pipes while I'm out here in the world. You know what? I'm going to call my train to please come to science. There we go. All right. So I need what again? Oh, undergrounds. There we are. And I'll get pipes because I definitely need pipes. Don't have enough of those. Here they are. There's my train. Yay, I'm hitching a ride, and it's all working out. Good. And of course, life will also be better when I get nice, fast shoes on in the form of an exoskeleton. Woohoo. This is so nice. Taking a ride. Boom. All right. here this way and then this one can go that way I should have done this a long time ago I don't think I've ever used shift 2 uh, for the hotbar except for right now to access items on this side but it's so convenient wow silly me hadn't thought of it before okay put here this is perfection hello Perfection is good. We are excited about perfection. And this one, okay, we're gonna have n less perfection here, but um, should be ish okay, maybe, maybe. Mm, okay, this is gonna have to move and have a little bit of another sea monster bump right there. All right, great. Now let's collect, connect the plastic. And to do that, I will just move this one down slightly. Okay, anything else? Oh my gosh, we're running out. I guess I could set up some alien science going on, but eh, I'm not that keen. You know what? I'm just going to let it expire. Go away. Shoot. All right, plastic. Go on your merry way. There we go. There we are. Very nice. I know this looks like a nightmare of engineering, but it shall be okay. It really will. Okay, so let's go down to the science area again. I love having this shuttle train. I highly recommend one uh, if you decide to do a ribbon world. I remember when I did my very first ribbon world uh, and I was like, no, I shouldn't build a train. I'll just wait till I get an exoskeleton. And oh my goodness, it was so much walking back and forth. I thought that um, if I ever were to record series in Factorio, I would never do a ribbon world just because of that. Um, but just because it would take like forever walking back and forth, but shuttle train your best friend. Totally. All right. So let's go and find our pipes. There they are. And string them along here. I think I should just, yeah, we're not going to do that much more. Um, wow. I have too much stuff. Uh, we're not going to do that much more of uh, regular type uh, guns. Oh, I didn't want to do that. All right, let's get steel, shove it somewhere, anywhere but here. Okay. Anybody need steel? Yo, you, phone pole place, go, take steel, take it. Right. And these guys, I think engines maybe need steel. I still have steel. Wow. This? Aha! You took steel too. Good. Excellent. 
All right, and you don't need steel. All right. So we have less stuff in the inventory. Power armor is going to cure everything. It's going to be a great, great opportunity for us. I have a little bit of wood. Let's shove this in here and shove in this copper cable. All right, now we have a, quite a lot of squares, which is uh, what I was aiming for. And I can put away some of this pipe because we won't need a ton of it. Actually, no, we might need a ton of it yet. Okay, I'm not gonna put it away, away yet because we still have batteries to make. Uh, the goal here is, oh, dear me. Okay. The goal here is definitely blue science. Uh, later, we're going to be making processing units out of these nice, handy things as well. The uh, sulfuric acid in particular. Okay, excellent. Um, all right, so now I would like to get Blue Science set up right around here. Um, or, yeah, I guess I could. I'll do Blue Science and then Red Circuits because if I do that, we'll have a priority on the splitting from the Red Circuits, I think. All right, that sounds okay. Or should I do Red Circuits first? Oh, so hard to decide. You know what? Red circuits first. I no, 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 no. We'll do blue because I might want to expand the red circuits to the west still again, uh, and definitely would want to have a little bit of leeway to do so. Okay. And let's see. We're gonna want our buildings go away. This. Oh, I can put those guys away too. Do not need. Uh, chemical plants except for batteries which are also required by blue science but I definitely don't need pump jacks I know there's something I don't need in my inventory so here we go put that away and let's just make sure we have what we need where is the science there it is okay um, batteries advanced circuits and filter inserters and steel plates yes we can supply them all now that we have things organized I'm gonna take these off of my hot bar don't need them there but I would like assemblers and we have enough, enough of the other stuff so let's just do these one two three four five six seven and eight Eh, that seems okay I have to move these turrets Though, looking at our pollution grid, we probably will not be attacked for some time. Um, let me just shove them out in the wilderness a bit. That seems like an alright solution. What I really need to do is put a station right at the end of the line here, or near-ish to that location, so I could call my train if I wanted to. Alright, let's just... I'm going to put this in such a way that it kind of like covers the other... Um, turret. So basically they're not going to be able to sneak by at the top or the bottom of the map. That's my idea with that. Okay. Um, Alright, I'll put this there and I'll put half of my red ammo in this one. Alright, that'll be good. And looks like my tree decimation project worked pretty well. And as the true meaning of decimation, it did not actually kill all of them, but only a percentage. So let me grab some grenades and fix that slightly. So I don't have to just chop them all down. I, mean, I don't mind chopping down a few, but eh. when it's tons and tons, I'd rather not. I'd rather just save time and grenade them. Someone wrote a comment today <laughs> saying that they feared for the trees, and right they were. Oh yes, me and the flamethrower. Hey. Actually, I quite enjoy the flora in this game. Some of the um, tree coloration schemes look like fall leaves, and it looks so pretty. I, I quite enjoy them a lot of times, just looking at them. Alright, let's get rid of these trees here. Oh boy. Okay, I need a steel axe. 
make five. Should be okay. okay. You guys, I want to be blue science. Of course, we'll have central feeding lines into blue science. And if I want to, I can also still um, add more on top if I wish. Looks like this needs to be repaired if I can find repair packs. Do I have any? Ah, oh, they're there. Okay. I cannot wait to get robots to have all of this stuff repaired for me. It'll be good. Yay will happen. Things and stuff will be nice. Okay. I'm gonna have these Going downward. Alrighty. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Come on, thing. Behave. And I want them both on the same side of the belt. That's intentional. And here's where I'm going to make the purple inserters. But first, I would like to make um, a couple of machines for purple science. Alien science. Or science pack four if you are feeling particularly um, specific about words today. All right, so I think I need just regular inserters up and down, and then I can use, well, with the inserter stack size bonus, I probably just need regular inserters to output as well. All right, that'll work. All right, wow, and there's all that there too. These are going to go on the far side, which is going to be perfect for this. Excellent. So I would like to put the um, purple inserter production over there. Let's see what we need. I need, okay, iron plates, gear wheels, greens, plates, gear wheels, greens. Yeah, I don't need any, uh, any red chips for this, so that's going to be all right. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trying to think about how I would like to put these lines up there. So iron plates, gears, and chips. Okay. Yeah, I still need two, two lines. That's okay. It's not the, that bad of a deal. And we need. See, only the. Only the yellows need gears. So I'll just have one gear making factory here. And then we'll just pass the inserters along. We have gears, yellow, blue, and purple. Good. Can handle that. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so this one is going to go this way. I don't need to waste that space this way. Okay. And this is going to meet up with with steel. I always put these two on the same line. Just out of habit mostly. Okay. And these things can go away. Uh, let's see if I can get some power in here. And get some lights, because I know it's a bit dark. Okay. Lights. Yay! Great. So this one. Here is our plastic line. That's going to be great for red circuits. Oops. Is that on the correct thingy? Yes, it is. 
So there's the steel going in. And let us get these guys going as well. So I'm going to need, this is going to be gears here. And we'll have yellows, yellow inserters, and blue, and purple, uh, because that's what we need. Unfortunately, our time for this episode has now come to a close. Thank you so very much for joining me. I'm Catherine of Sky. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you next time.